Video. and on today's video I'm going to show you guys how to bathe your turtles because that's totally a thing that you need to do and it's totally awesome and you should do it just kidding you don't have to but sometimes turtles dirty their shells like this so right here I have Penelope and let me just tell you guys ahead um, turtles don't like this they hate being touched so much so they're gonna be making some very angry noises and they're gonna be hissing and jumping so just to let you guys know that's pretty normal when you're doing this so here's Penelope she's already angry like look what I did well, look what she's gonna do when I try and touch her Boop. oh my god <laughs> I wasn't lying and over here, I have Natasha. So I have her in here because she keeps trying to get out and she feels safe in here, like, like it's like a little cave for her. So here she is. And if I try and touch her, it's the same thing. Boop. Oh, it's not that bad with her. Boop. Oh. Let's try Penny again. Boop. So this is what I mean by bathing them as you can see she has some algae growing I actually already bathed her like earlier this year like maybe two months ago so it's not that bad but if I let her go and don't clean her shell she gets really bad algae and all kinds of dirtiness and she has trouble shedding and absorbing vitamin D so that is a reason why you should do this for your turtle, especially outdoor turtles. So since I'm bringing them indoors, from outdoors, with that, I usually always give them a shell cleaning. So they go in their new setup with clean shells. So here's what I have going on. So this is just a really old storage bin that I have lying around. I use this when I need to pre-mix water, or when I'm doing water changes, or aquariums or whatever when I have to doze or medicate or treat fish just it's a really random tote I have around and I'm gonna be using water from their setup so it's already aged and chlorine free you can use tap water you can even do this like with the hose and just direct tap water they'll be fine you shouldn't because it could irritate their skin but if you do they'll be fine I'm also going to be using this really old toothbrush to scrub gently. You don't want to scrub too hard, just gently. You can use an old toothbrush that you don't use anymore or you can just buy a new one specifically for this purpose. And just make sure you label it so that you don't brush your teeth with it afterwards accidentally. Not that I've been there or anything. Okay, maybe I have. <laughs> and I'm also going to be using some vinegar. This is just some apple cider vinegar. So this is good to use to get any hard water buildup they might have in between their skews off. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my water from their setup. I have just a bucket here. I'm just going to drop that in. And to that, I'm just going to add like a bit of apple cider vinegar. You don't really need to measure it. Just add that much in. So I'm going to start out with Natasha because she is the easiest. And basically all I'm going to do is wet her, well just her shell, and I'm going to take the toothbrush and very lightly brush. 
So I just brush really lightly and even then that still bothers her and she's trying to get away and just is scratching the crap out of me. So you obviously if you're doing this you want to be fast. I'm kind of taking my time because I'm filming. <laughs> But here you can see how the algae just scrubs right off and don't put any pressure because they do feel this. A lot of people think that because they are turtles they don't feel anything on their shells. But their shells are bone covered by skin so this is their skin and they have nerves so they feel everything. So if you're worried about how hard to scrub, scrub yourself. and. Oh, it's green. <laughs> Scrub yourself and kind of measure how much pressure you're putting and how much you can handle. And that's pretty much the same for them. And as you can see, her shell is very dirty. Despite the fact that I did this not so long ago. Oh god. <laughs> so I also do her belly, even though it's not really that dirty. And as you can see, she's very mad. She's trying to get a hold of the toothbrush. <laughs> So you should hurry when you're doing this so it doesn't stress them out too much. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I never really try and get it 100% squeaky clean because that's just unreal. And I mean, it's gonna get dirty again anyway, so what's the point? And sometimes any retained scutes they might have will loosen up and come off. So if your turtle is having problems shedding, scrubbing their shells every now and then will help. So yeah, Natasha is done and I'm gonna go put her in her new- oh, I guess she wasn't done. <laughs> so she's currently in shed so this is completely normal. A lot of her skews are already loose so this scrub will actually is helping her get those off. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put her in her new setup now. Hey, so that was Natasha and she was the easy one. Yeah, she's a doll and she's not as antisocial and aggressive as this girl right here. So with her, we are going to be doing things a little bit different because if I give her the chance, she will bite my fingers off and like I don't want to lose a finger. <laughs> so I am going to be wrapping her in a t-shirt. And oh my god, she's trying to get out. Oh my god, seriously. <laughs> it's not that she's mean or like, it, she just doesn't like being handled. She's a doll in the water. She will swim up to me. I even hand feed her. Like, she's just a doll in her setup. But then outside of her setup, she turns into this aggressive monster. So, let's just stop delaying this and get on with it. So, first thing I'm gonna do is take my t shirt and Throw it on her. Pretty normal stuff, right? Or not. Okay. Chill. I'm not gonna hurt you. It's okay. So you would think that this really stresses her out, but it's actually calming her because she can't see anything around her. So if you're worried about this stressing her out, she would be a lot more stressed out if she didn't have this on her because then she would see everything that was going on and that stresses her out a lot more than not knowing what's going on around her. So, it's okay. So with her, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put her in. I told you guys there would be some very unpleasant noises and trust me, I was not lying. So obviously, I'm holding her above the water because I don't want her to drown. And I'm going to be very fast because if the t-shirt gets wet, it will restrict airflow. So her shell's actually not very dirty. So it doesn't, we won't be doing this too long. Okay. 
And the closer I get to her face, the angrier she gets. Okay, so that's enough for her back. She actually is very clean. And I'm just gonna flip her super fast. Remember, turtles shouldn't be in their backs too long, so you're doing this. Be very fast. And there we go. We are done. Penelope is now squeaky clean. And she actually calmed down. She usually calms down towards the end when she realizes that I'm not hurting her. So she's pretty chill now. Well, kind of. There we go. Penelope. Uh-uh. No. No. Penelope. No. Uh-uh. No. No. <laughs> she actually knows me. She knows my face. So yeah, I'm gonna go add her in her new setup now and I will show you guys them afterwards. So here's their new setup, their indoor winter setup and Tito is already in there. He's trying to go to the... <laughs> Leia. No. No. <laughs> in goes Penelope. Here she is. Tada! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and now, Natasha. In goes Natasha. So we have reached the end of this video. I hope you. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so we have reached the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was somewhat educational or entertaining or something. And there is Tito Bear. He wants me to carry him like he is such a mama's boy like he just loves being held by me so i'm gonna do that right now after i film oh you know what let me do it right now hi <laughs> so i'm gonna go watch tv with him now and i'm gonna let you guys go so thank you guys so much for watching i will talk to you guys in the next video have a good day or a good night and i love you guys So this, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs>